For this presentation, I'm going to introduce our group, The Manageables. We are Derek Johnson, Jacob Davis, Tal Kim, Nicole Ragu, Emma Puderbaugh, and Nicoletta Freer from Mr. Diazio's Principles of Management class. Welcome to our final presentation. We hope you find some help, full information that you can take with you as a professional manager in the future. In our final presentation, we will be discussing the managerial concepts of the importance of decision-making, communication, and organizational change. To do that, we all collectively decided to target local businesses by talking about a DVD rental company that takes place in Tampa, Florida. I am going to briefly explain the plot of our TV show to quickly give you an idea of how we lead into the management concepts. Our TV show has a total of four characters but it is the disagreement between them that will make or break the long-term viability of the DVD rental store. Ryan is one of the characters in our TV show, and he will have to make a huge decision that will involve a lot of strategic planning. Once we get to the character introductions, you will understand why. This concept builds up on the audience's curiosity as they stay tuned to find out what the future of Fil Filmco will be. What would his decision be, and how did the strategic approach help him? What strategic approach did Ryan use? How will the outcome dictate the future of Filmco? As we mentioned before, we would like our targeted audience to be local businesses. However, we believe that everyone would be able to learn from this show and apply it to their everyday personal and professional work life. I will be introducing the main characters from our TV show. This will give our audience a general idea of why the show plays out the way it does. Ryan is in his late 40s, early 50s, and is a su successful businessman. This success has come via the perfection of a business model he has operated since the mid-1980s. This focus and dedication has cost him a connection with the way the world is evolving outside of what summer blockbuster is in the highest demand this week. Resolute in his resolve, Change is hardly his friend. Understanding yet firm, he appreciates input from his employees, but ultimately, he knows best. Here we have Stacy, an optimistic freshman in college, who is a glass-half-full kind of person. While she is not a perfect student by any means, she has found that self-application and adaptability are usually the best way to pull through a tough situation. Constantly looking for a new way to attack problems she wants to have a career in the film industry. Her short time at Filmco has already presented an opportunity, at least in her mind, to prove her mettle and show how helpful she can be. Fun and inquisitive, Stacy tries to be the best problem solver she can be. Now we have the man's man, Chad. His character just cannot fail. His three-year tenure at Filmco has lent him Ryan's trust. Stacy's boyfriend since high school, there's hardly anyone who doesn't want to be Chad. He doesn't have too many opportunities to make decisions in life, but when he's tasked with it, his choices are always swift and absolute. Stubborn and firm, he is confident that the nature of his beliefs provide the very bedrock upon which his life is built. Finally, we have the very definition of class clown, Carlos. Carlos is driven by little other than a good laugh. Even in inappropriate situations, He's always got a one-liner up his sleeve. Perhaps that is why he is the cashier for Filmco with very little hope of promotion. His light and levacious nature sometimes put him on Ryan's bad side. He's not the kind of guy to get invited to a ton of parties, regardless of how hard he tries to be the life of them. Quick-witted and juvenile, Carlos just loves a good giggle. In episode two, we notice Stacy practicing emotional intelligence, as well as her first effort at being a change agent in the organization. Change is difficult, and we see Ryan battling it here. However, Stacy is the catalyst for change agent in driving Filmco's shift in business. Stacy further shows her emotional intelligence through her self-management and social skills, and her ability to navigate her conversation with Ryan. 
Let's tell Ryan all this. Maybe he hasn't realized this change. I can go talk to him tomorrow. Let me try to talk some sense into him, and if it doesn't work, we'll figure it out from there. We also see here that her successful communication with Ryan is partly due to her choice of actions. Having this conversation with Ryan face-to-face -face was the most impactful way of communicating. Choosing a medium should not be left to, to choice and should be the method that best suits the conversation, eliminating any potential ambiguity. Ryan, can I come in? Who is it? I'm pretty busy. It's me, Stacy. Just a few minutes. I wanted to pick your thoughts a moment. We'll offer discounts, popcorn, more movies. We'll make it bigger and better than ever. You'll see. Stacy listens before speaking up. Ryan, there's no foot traffic in the store, and it's not due to lack of inventory or promos. You do a great job with that. The dynamic of our business is changing. People are more interested about immediacy and having any number of movies at their fingertips. Just look at some of our competition out there like Netflix and Hulu. While we can't compete directly, there's a market for us there. We offer tons of great items they can't, but we need to compete from a technology level to provide the right service our customers want. I've done this before and I'll do it again. History with me will absolutely repeat itself. You'll absolutely see. Ryan, think about the change is all I can ask. Think about it as an option amongst your thoughts so far. Change isn't always that bad. We chose episode 5 to showcase the successful results of strategic, tactical, and operational plans. In this episode, we come to a happy ending where all the hard work that the manager and team contributed pays off. Ryan is now ready to face the press to announce the new and improved Film Co. Ryan, Stacy, and Chad's teamwork paid off. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming out here on such an important day. We at Filmco have been working hard on a new project that we see as the future of the company. Now, for what you all came here for, Filmco will be entering the streaming service industry. We will have our own platform called Filmco Streaming. Ryan was able to give credit where credit was due. He also showed great sportsmanship by not taking credit for the whole project. I want to make sure I give credit of this idea to my coworker, Stacy. It was her idea to come up with our own streaming service in order to modernize our company and help move it into the future. I also would like to give credit to other coworkers, Chad and Carlos. They really helped me see that this streaming service is the best idea for our company. Glad he mentioned us in his speech. A lot of bosses wouldn't have given their coworkers any credit. Well, that is the difference between a manager with good leadership skills and a manager with bad leadership skills. He did promise Stacy, Chad, and Carlos a bonus which was a way to motivate them to work harder and more efficiently. To show how much I appreciate all your hard work and dedication to our company, I'd like to give you all bonuses for your efforts. Great job, guys. Management is the process of dealing with or controlling things or people. Our goal as the manageables was to show how you can control tasks and people in a professional way. Managers should always have a civil approach when controlling their coworkers or employees. It is something that we use every day in both our career and personal lives. Management concepts are essential for everyone to understand in order to allow for day-to-day -day operations to run smoothly and efficiently. The more people learn about management, the better our relationships will become, which helps us become high-powered teams. We hope that our final presentation and our TV show helped you gain a better understanding about management. As a group, our reflection is as simple as this. We have learned a lot from each other and this class. We have learned how to communicate effectively, how to work in a group, and most importantly, how to manage deadlines. By learning these skills in this class, we will be able to apply them later in college or after graduation. Simply put, managing individuals is no easy task. There are many different factors that apply, such as communication styles, personality types, ethics, planning, and decision-making processes. All of these items should be constantly considered for every moment of a manager's day. I'm incredibly fortunate to take this curriculum while managing nine different people. 
I've taken many items from this course material and added it into my daily game planning. One item to note is I've trained my team over the various communication methods that were taught in a later module. I walked them through how critical different styles can be to emote different angles and degrees of seriousness. I'm a better manager today than I was many weeks ago having taken this course. Furthermore, management is not a stagnant idea, and I realize that now, so I will be diligent in staying abreast with new ideas for now and in the future. This course has opened me to exploring new methods of management. Where I previously was under the impression that past experience leading teams and having to make decisions for groups gave me a solid understanding of what was efficient and effective management, I have since learned that the process is much more skill-based. By taking this course, I have learned several key components to ensuring a greater chance of success in group-based projects, such as how to properly communicate and handle problems that arise from this communication. This course has been both fun and enlightening. Hi there, my name is Tao Kim. Uh, I have learned a lot from this course. It's in not only the management concept of vocabulary from the textbook, but also the real experience from the group work. I learned that uh, communication, commitment, and collaboration are the keys of the successful teamwork. The group process of creating a TV show is a new experience I'm glad to have. I never had a chance to really make a film before, therefore it's really hard to me, but uh, with all the team member contribution, we did that. Though I am still in school, this class will be very helpful when I start working after school or later in school with more group projects. When you work in groups, communication is very critical. Without it, nothing will get accomplished. By taking this class, I was able to learn a lot from working with different people. I got to meet them and learn a bit about their lives. I could see how different we were from each other, but it didn't matter as long as we were communicating effectively. We always made sure that everyone understood what we wanted done and helped each other out if there was clarification needed. I will be able to take these skills that I learned and apply them to my future groups that I work in to make them as successful as possible. Although this class is difficult, the skills you learn from it will be necessary in the workforce and everyday life. Not only are the management concepts we are learning going to be useful, but also the teamwork and communication skills will be essential to our success post-graduation and on. Working in teams remotely allowed for each student to grow and learn from the experience in a mutually beneficial environment. The experience was overall a very positive one. Hi, my name is Nicole Ragu, and in this, this class has taught me a lot of key essentials for management that I can take with me in my personal life and work life. Like I've noticed already at work, time management, working with others on a project, and even making time for a meeting is very important. I learned that working in a group can be very beneficial if we all come together and work with each other in a timely manner. Being able to manage up and take initiative is very important. When faced with hard decisions, we were able to come together and think it through strategically like we learned in class. I believe being a manager is finding civil ways to communicate and effectively get the work done with others. This group and class has been nothing but helpful in showing what it really takes to be a well-organized and professional manager. We've come to realize that it takes a lot of time, hard work, and dedication to become both successful in this class and in the real world. As you venture out into the world and begin your career, you will come to realize all the key aspects you learned in this class are applicable. One of the most important aspects would be communication, whether it be through group chats and or video calling. It is important to gather everyone early. This gives everyone time to commit and complete their contributions. We understand that life gets in the way, but commitment is one of the biggest concepts to apply to this class. Every member should be committed, so that way the group task can be evenly distributed. Working as a group means that you can bring a whole bunch of different skills to the table. As you work together with your classmates, you will each be able to contribute by using your own unique abilities. Finally, I think it's best to keep an open mind about ideas and concepts. Not everyone will have the same thoughts and opinions, so it is best to consider all suggestions and as a group, choose what will be best.